Okay guys, today we're going to talk about the boons of upper limb. Boons of upper limb, one side, we got total 32. Uh, sesamite bones are exceptions. So, shoulder girdle bones, in which we go to two bones, clavicle and scapula. Arm bone, humerus. Forearm, we go to two bones, radius and ulna. Hand, could be divided into the wrist, palm and the fingers. So, in the wrist, we go to eight bones. Collectively, we call them carpal bones. In the palm, we are having the five bones. We call them metacarpals. And in the fingers, we go the phalanx or phalanges, 14 in number. Let's talk about the shoulder girdle bones. We got here the clavicle and the scapula. The clavicle is representing in the green color and the scapula is representing here in the yellow color. Let's see clavicle and scapula. These two bones are making the shoulder girdle. Remember about it. Now we are coming to the arm bone, the humerus. Representing here is in the green color. Humerus, the long bone. For arm bones, we go to two bones, radius and the ulna. Representing here in the purple and the red color. In the anatomical position, the radius is the little bone and the ulna is the middle bone. Both are the long bones. Talk about the hand bones. In the hand, we go to carpals, metacarpals and phalanges. Representing here the green color, the carpal bones. Red color, metacarpals, and the blue color representing the phalanges. Talking about the carpal bones separately, carpal bones total eight in number, four in the proximal row, four in the distal row. In the proximal row, from lateral to the medial, in the anterior view, in anatomical position. First of all, we got here, most laterally, scaphoid, lunate, trachytrum, also known as trachytral, pisiform. So talking about the first, scaphoid is a boat shape, lunate, crescent shape, trachytrum, three-sided bone. PC form is actually the sesamoid bone in the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Now we are here on the distal row, also having the four bones. Number one, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hemate. So let's talk about the trapezium. It is the irregular four-sided bone. The trapezoid is also four-sided bone. Capitate is having the head and it is the largest among the carpal bones. Hamate is having the hook very prominent on the anterior side. Talking about the metacarpal bones, there are five in number from later to the medial side. Or you can say from the thumb side to the little finger side. We go here the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth metacarpal. Let's talk about the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth metacarpal bone. Total five in number. Talking about the phalanges, <coughs> phalanges are the bones making our fingers and we are having the proximal flanges, we are having the middle flanges and the distal. So talking about the proximal flanges, we got in all fingers, 
middle flange is only in the fingers but not in the thumb and the distal flange is all so total 14 phalanges we got in the fingers thank you